Hello, hello, my friends. Kim here, and welcome on back to my happy place. It's something a little bit different today, you guys, because I am going to be doing an unboxing. Now, as many of you may remember, when I reassessed my channel and the content I was going to be putting up on my channel, I had decided that I would no longer be doing unboxings. However, I did say that now and then I may do one uh, specifically if the company is new to me or there's something that I specifically want to share with you guys or when I am unboxing a canvas or intending to work on a canvas where I've used one of my own images. So today's video, guys, is going to be a very quick unboxing. I am not going to go into the massive amount of detail that some people do go into in unboxing videos, just because I feel they can be a little bit repetitive and it can get a little bit dull. <laughs> so the point of today's video is really just to give you a high-level overview of what you can expect when you order a custom from Evermoment on AliExpress. This canvas and everything you are seeing on your screen at the moment does come from AliExpress. The image that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is also an image that I created myself. Now, just as a reminder, guys, you are able to use my images for your own customs if you want to. All you need to do is go to my Buy Me A Coffee account. Um, there you can buy me a coffee for five bucks and you can leave a note just letting me know which image it is that you want and obviously leave your email address there. I will then send you an email. I will attach the image for you and you can then go off to whatever company you want to have, you know, your custom made. So that is also why I wanted to show you this uh, canvas today was just to show you the image to explain to you how I came about designing this image and why and what was in my head and then obviously making the image available to you guys if there are any of you that are interested in this one. So like I've said I'm not going to make this long and drawn out and I'm not going to go through all the baggies of drills and all the rest of it. I'm really just going to be doing much more of a high level unboxing just to show you guys the product and what you can expect from ever moment. So on your screen right now, you will see everything that comes in the, I should say tube, because with ever moment, it's not technically correct to say an unboxing, because ever moment sends you their diamond paintings in tubes like this. They are immensely sturdy and solid. I'm sure you guys could hear that. So your diamond paintings will never arrive damaged. I have never had a damaged canvas or diamond painting because even these tubes, they then pack these tubes inside a cardboard box as well. So really everything is immensely well packaged and it always arrives in perfect condition. Okay, on that note guys, like I've said, on the table here is everything that arrived in the tube. So first things first, you do have your toolkit. So you get a tray, you get a pen, you get tweezers, you get baggies you get a round of washi tape and obviously in here somewhere as well there will be uh, the wax that you need. Over and above that, Evermoment includes this release paper. There are about three or four sheets in there I think. Um, I find this size a little bit too big so what I tend to do is I cut these in half and I then use you know that size more as my release paper but this is very handy to have because I do use release paper and so I love getting these. So that was handy to have that. Now before, no actually I think I'm going to show you the drills very quickly. So the drills come in their own Ziploc bags but the drills themselves are in those crinkly packets that you also get from companies like uh, Diamond Art Club. So you will see that there is a label on the pack of drills. So you will always know how many packs you are supposed to have because it tells you this is pack one of two. It then gives you the kit code over there um, just so that if you store your drills separately from your canvas, you obviously know which drills go with which canvas. This is the second bag and as you can see a whole lot of nice colors in there. Um, as I said at the start of this video, I'm actually not going to take all of those drills out and show them all to you. But we will just have a little bit of a closer look at some of the colors uh, towards the end of this video where I will just hold those bags up to the camera again. Right, then we also get our sticker sheet, you guys. So as you can see, these are pre-cut stickers, or I hope you can see. 
There you go. Just loosening one there. So these are pre-cut stickers. You obviously get the item number, you get the symbol, and then you get the DMC code, as well as how many drills of each color. Now, look how perfectly clear all of this is. I love this about Ever Moment. They really do print their uh, stickers very clearly. And even on the canvas itself, you will see how clear their symbols are. Now, let's take a look at this image. So this is the image that I designed and I sent off to Ever Moment to have a custom made. Now, those of you who have been with me for a while will know that I have a very distinct artistic style that I gravitate towards when designing my own images, creating them, and also in terms of diamond paintings to work on. So I love diamond paintings that are portrait style. So anything that is portrait style or that involves a person or even it doesn't even have to be a real sort of genuine looking person. It can be cartoons or caricatures. It can be fairies or goblins or gnomes or wizards or but anything that's that's depicting a actual I don't want to say an actual person because obviously a fairy or a gnome is not a person. But let me just put it to you this way, guys. I don't work on landscapes at all. And I very rarely work on canvases that depict animals. I mean, I have now and then. I think you guys can probably remember a couple on my channel. But in general, this is more the type of art that I, I gravitate towards. And also the ones that are more cartoonish in nature, I have no problem with those as well. Now, how I came to come up with this image was nothing really actually specific. I was just playing around with some ideas in my head and I wanted a sort of serene person, but with very bright colors where when I work on the diamond painting, I was going to enjoy it and not get bored. And that is how I came up with this lady with her crazy hair. Now, the other thing that I had in mind is also... Or was a little bit of a series and and this is what I did do where I created a whole lot of different images of people but they almost in my mind represent or reflect a different country that I've traveled to or a different country that I've seen on TV or just in some way something that ties that look or the look of the person or the look of the character to a specific place now this one I have decided, uh, decide, decided. <laughs> I have decided to title this one London Calling, and I'll tell you why. This lady reminds me of one of my first experiences when I traveled to London with my parents as a child. I think I was about eight or nine when I went there for the first time. And my mom took us to that area of London where all the punks hang out. And as an eight or nine year old girl, I'm sure you can imagine, I was just so taken with them with their crazy leather clothes and all their studs and tattoos, but more specifically with their hairstyles and the colors in their hair, the blues and the reds and all of that. I mean, we didn't really have any sort of punk culture like that in South Africa. And even if we did, I was too young to have been exposed to it. So it's one of the things that stands out to me most when I think back to my childhood now and of traveling in my childhood. My, my parents did a lot of traveling with us when we were younger. So I feel very privileged to have, you know, been able to experience different countries. And I'm really happy that I still actually have some memories from those travels. But anyway, back to this image. So what I wanted was I sort of had London in mind. I sort of had those punks in mind with their crazy hair and all the different colors in their hair. And anyway, this is how I came up with this woman. Also, her eyeshadow around her eyes is leaning sort of darker and more punkish. And obviously the hair as well. Although the hairstyle itself may not be, you know, a genuine reflection of a type of punk hairstyle or the types that I saw there, but definitely the colors are. So anyway, guys, enough about that. I just wanted to fill you in on how I came up with this image. And obviously, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you love this one or you would love to work on her, she is available. Just use the link below in the description box to get to my Buy Me A Coffee account. Okay, gang, now moving on to the canvas itself. As always, it's a perfect canvas. There are no wrinkles. There are no creases. Um, it's just an absolutely perfect canvas. It's perfectly white. It's clean and it's lovely. So always 
No problems with the Ever Moment canvases. They also lie down very nice and flat. I have very few, if any, issues ever with getting an Ever Moment canvas to, to lie flat. I know that with Diamond Art Club, they do advertise that their canvases are self-flattening and they lie perfectly flat and all the rest. That has not been my 100% experience, I must be honest, because I often find they do maintain a few, I wouldn't say creases, but almost like it just comes from the canvas having been rolled up for some time. I don't find that they, they lay 100 or lie 100% flat, but my ever moment ones always do. Okay, gang, so let's have a look at this gorgeous image. Ta-da! All right, so I am going to go right to the top here. So you can see at the very top you have the thumbnail image, and then you have your small legend printed down the side. I asked for a maximum of 42 colors in this canvas with no ABs, and I ended up getting it with 41 colors. And like I say, there are no ABs or special drills in this one, but that's because, you know, you know me. I don't want ABs or special drills. So, guys, the other thing to remember with Evermoment is they use a photo negative effect on their canvases, which I personally love. Because for me, it means that as I'm working on the canvas, it really starts to come alive. So I love the photo negative effect. It does make the image a little bit more difficult to see when it's still in this format and this style. But I'm sure you are getting a very a clear picture in your head of what this canvas looks like so as I've said this one is just absolutely divine I love I mean it's going to be very fun to be doing all the colors here on her hair I can see there's quite a bit of confetti in parts of this canvas but then there are areas of color blocking in her face here there's a lot of color blocking down here in her skin also quite a bit as well but in true ever moment style or let me rather say in true ever moment fashion please know that you will get confetti and you will probably get a lot, especially if you do not limit the number of colors that you order with your canvases. Like I say, I always order 42. It's just, I don't know why, it's just a number that works for me. And so even though there are, there is and often is a lot of confetti in the canvases I order, for me it's manageable confetti. Ever moment do um, issue or should I say manufacture canvases with quite a few more colors than 42 so don't be put off if you are someone who likes as many colors as possible you are able to leave that note when you order and you can just say Zoe because Zoe is the lady you deal with there please give me as many colors as possible and obviously the more colors you ask for or the more colors that the canvas is rendered with the more confetti you can expect so, gang, what do you think? I think maybe let me just show you some of the symbols more close up so that you can see how perfectly uh, printed these are. There is no smudging or blurring. There is nothing that you cannot distinguish. You know, let me just show you another section there. Again, perfect symbols. Let's have a look at some of these down here in the bottom in the greener section. Look how clear all of this is. Even some of, you know, the T is printed on a slightly darker background, still perfectly clear. And yeah, I just love working on these canvases because even though I do always use a light pad, if you are someone who doesn't, you won't need to worry. You won't need to use a light pad because the symbols are so immensely clear. The other thing that I love with Evermoment are their um, plastic covers. Their plastic covers are lovely and thick, nice and thick. Yeah, I love that because if you are someone who doesn't want to remove the plastic cover and you prefer to just, you know, section your sections off using washi paper and then, uh, uh, not washi paper, washi tape, and then cut the, the uh, plastic cover away as you go, these um, plastic covers work very well for that because they are nice and thick. So gang, I think that pretty much covers the canvas. Like I said, I really wanted to just show you what comes in the kit, how the canvas looks, how the images come out, the clarity of the symbols, and those type of things that are obviously important to us as diamond painters. In conclusion then, I'm not going to go and unpack all the drills. I'm just going to hold these up to the camera like this, just to show you some of the colors. Now I know for some of you, this is probably not good enough and you would prefer that I unpack everything. But just bear in mind that I'm someone who really wasn't intending on doing unboxing videos anyway. So the other point is also that I, you know, I want to make content in line with the things that I know I like to watch. 
And I'm not someone who needs a blow-by-blow -blow account of every single bag of drills that comes in a kit. That's me personally. That may not be you, and there's no right or wrong in this regard. I'm just saying I don't personally need that, and so I'm not really going to do that in my videos. But again, just to show you the color palette, you can see all the greens here. You know, when we got to the bottom here, there's a bit of green going on there and a bit of green there. And then obviously quite a lot up here towards, you know, the side and in her hair and over here. So the drills, you know, reflect that. You can see a lot of green. You can also see quite a lot of orange. Fair amount of lighter blues and then some darker purples and darker blues through those drills. So, yes, guys, this is going to be the next kit that I am going to kit up. I actually need to empty out some of my uh, storage containers at the moment. I've finished a couple of kits and... I just couldn't be bothered at the time to kit down. Oh, I hate. <laughs> I hate kitting down. I love kitting up, but I hate kitting down. And actually, I'm too lazy now even to keep my spare drills. So I just put all my spare drills into a plastic container. And then I put that entire plastic container into the recycling, the plastic um, recycling bags. You know, we have a company that actually comes once a week to collect our uh, rubbish Specifically, it's a private company. I pay them extra um, and they come and they collect all our recycling because I, I feel very strongly about recycling. Our poor planets cannot cope with all the, what's the word I should use, the crap <laughs> that all of us generate all the time. So, yes, yeah, so I'm a big recycler, so I do even recycle my, my drills. <laughs> As strange as that sounds. But anyway, guys, okay, I'm going to leave things there. You will obviously be seeing this one in my next whip parade video because hopefully I will have her kitted up now in the next week or so and then I will try and start working on her. I am trying really hard to finish my spooky October canvas, um, which some of you may recall was called uh, Spell Queen. I showed her to you guys in my last whip parade video. I'm trying very hard to finish her because I don't want to um, have that one dragging on because it was my... Halloween 2024 pick uh, of, you know, canvases from my stash to work on from for Halloween 2024. So I am I'm trying to make some progress and to get further along with that one. But I am sure that I will be starting this one sometime soon. So hopefully it will be in my next whip parade video. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this quicker unboxing video, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave your comments for me, for me down below. I obviously try and respond to absolutely everything and all your comments. So feel free to let me know what you think of this one, what you think of Evermoment, what you're currently working on. Anything that you feel like sharing with me, please do that down below in the comments. And lastly, if you haven't subscribed, but guys, please subscribe. Um, it really does help me with the good old YouTube algorithm. Okay, my friends, I'm going to leave things there. I'm going to love and leave you. And of course, I'm going to say happy diamond painting. Bye.